Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a welcome video for my YouTube channel. So if you would like to know a little bit about me and my family, um, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so my name is Leslie Vasquez. I am 19 years old and I will be turning 20 this year in June. So I have two kiddos. Um, one is six years old and his, oh no, one is five years old and he's gonna turn six and his name's Anthony. And the other one is two years old and she's about to turn three next month and her name is Aaliyah. Um, they are honestly the spotlight maybe of this channel more than I am because I love to vlog about them. I love recording with them. Um, they are something that you will straight away like straight up see in my videos all the time. Um, if you guys hear them running around right now they're upstairs. I am a teen mom. I had my kiddos whenever well I had Anthony whenever I was 14 and then I had Aaliyah whenever I was 16 so I was very young whenever I had them and I've learned quite a bit of life and I've had to grow up pretty fast. Um, something else that you guys might have questions over is am I in a relationship? Um, am I married? What What's going on? I am not in a relationship. I'm actually single and um, I was in a six year long relationship. I was with the father of my kids for those six years and um, I decided to end it a few months ago. It's been seven months. Um, the longest that we've ever gone with like, you know, um, not being together. Um, but we, I ended that relationship because it just wasn't a healthy relationship and I realized that I needed to figure out who I was, what I stood for, what I love to do. I felt like this whole time I've just been a mom and I've been mom I've been trying to like be that perfect person for a lo really long time and then um and then my life just came crashing down one day and everything has changed from then on we um we still talk we still he you know we still call each other um he's still you know he's still very involved in the kids life it hasn't always been like that we've had our ups and our downs um but right now we are in a good spot and i think that's where i want it to be um also i don't know what the future holds for us so are we gonna get back together i don't know i say no but i don't know here in the future I don't know what it's going to bring to us. Um, so that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to be like, oh, no, never. Because I honestly, I have a lot of love for him. But um, sadly, I'm just trying to focus on me and um, not in a, like, in an, like, not in an ego way. I just need to, like, I have a lot of, I have a lot of healing to do, if that makes sense. So videos here on my channel. I don't have, like, a schedule for my videos at all. I like to do them whenever I can. I am a full-time, I work full-time at a retail store. Um, so I have that first, and then above that, I'm, like, being, like, being a mom is, like, on top of everything. So, um, I just upload them whenever I have my days off. I edit, I record. Like, today I have a day off, so I'm recording for you guys. Um, so that's just what I do, pretty much. I don't have a schedule. I know people are like, you should have a schedule because, you know, you get more views and stuff like that. But I honestly feel like this is very realistic for me. I don't want to make promises. I don't want to make, like, empty promises where I don't uh, do it. Last year, though, I did do um, the whole year of weekly weekly vlogs, which is crazy. Like, that was a goal that I set for myself, and I accomplished it. So looking back on that, I'm very proud of myself. Um, but since I, am, I wasn't working last year, I was babysitting after... I got this full-time job. I'm still trying to figure out, you know, what I what I want to do with my channel. I know I still want to film for you guys. It's just whenever I can because I'm pretty busy now. A few things that you guys will probably see on my YouTube channel are weekly vlogs, vlogs in general, makeup tutorials. I love to play around with makeup. One thing I want to do more on my channel is to do more, like, mommy-related videos. What if you guys want to know? Let me know down below about, like, having kids, being a teen mom. I'm not sure what you guys want to hear about it. I have done a few videos on being a teen mom. Those will be linked down below. Um, but you know there's just if you have any suggestions on a video I should do over like being a teen mom or a mom in general um, you know what do you use on dry skin stuff like that I would love to make videos over that um, for you guys just because I have had a few years of experience of being a mom so um, I can I feel like I want to do more of those videos now so um, yeah that's my goal to just mo do more like mommy videos something else that you will um, hear me talk about on my YouTube channel is my past I have had pretty rocky rocky past um i've had a bad childhood um but it could have been worse so i always try to look at the positive side of things you will always see positivity on this channel uh, if you watch my older videos i was very like sad in those videos but it's because i was going through a hard time and that was also very realistic but i've gotten a better spot in my life so just letting you know if you guys watch like my first videos i was very like uh, i was just going through a hard time um so i always try to talk about my past um not just i'm also trying to heal from it so i haven't talked about it recently um but i do want to make more videos recently 
um, I say recently because it still feels very like new, new to me. Um, it feels it feels like I just got the news, but my brother passed away um, two years ago, and he committed suicide. And so I talked. I used to talk a lot about it on this channel. If you go, like I said, down to like my very first videos, I talked about it just because I was trying to cope with the feelings and the emotions and grieving. I didn't know exactly what I was doing. Plus, on top of that, I wanted to help people. Um, but then I realized that I needed to heal myself before I could, you know help anybody else so I've just been healing so I stopped talking about it as much of course whenever I'm sad or if I'm thinking about him or anything like that I will talk about it but um, most of the time what I've been doing is just healing just letting myself heal and then I feel like once I heal from that I have like a clear mindset of course I'm gonna be sad of course I'm gonna cry of course I'm gonna do this stuff but I'm not gonna let those emotions of like anger bitterness um, talk for me I just need to heal and so that I can actually do something to help people not just um, let my let my emotions speak for me but rather let the good emotions and the you know the love that I have for my brother and um, you know other people speak for me also something else that's very close and near and dear to my heart is um, the topic about illegal immigrants. Um, my mom came here as an illegal immigrant, so did my dad, um, and they brought me at the age of two. I was born in Mexico, and um, they brought me at the age of two. I don't remember anything about Mexico. Um, I just remember being here. I, I like this is my home here, and I'm going through the process of um, getting my residency and then becoming a U.S. citizen. Um, and I'm trying to go. Th we're actually going through the process right now. We're getting started on it, and um, I want to um, get capture. I want to capture. It. I want to talk about it just because I don't want it to be like something that's swept under the rug. I don't want it to be something that is misunderstood in my channel. I think another purpose of me is to. Um, empower those who um, feel like they have no voice just because I'm an illegal immigrant does not mean anything it does not make me less of a human than anybody and so I feel like I I have a voice and I'm gonna use my voice I have a platform and I'm gonna build my platform and I'm gonna use my platform to help other people of course there's a dark side to everything so of course like I agree with you know getting probably stricter um, rules on becoming a citizen getting here you know making it harder to get here but then also I feel like we all deserve an opportunity here and just because there's bad people who um, who are out there who do bad things doesn't mean we have to all suffer for it and so um, I don't know this is very something near and dear to Martin going through that process I am NOT a US citizen and um, I am no longer gonna keep that a secret I am a Mexican and um, I love the United States and so I am NOT gonna keep that a secret I'm not gonna be ashamed of it and I don't want anybody else to feel ashamed of it um, I remember growing up as a little girl and just feeling very ashamed for being Mexican and not not being a US citizen I remember going to school and not talking about it I remember just keeping it like sweeping it under the rug it's the one of the biggest secrets that I've held in my life and I'm no longer ashamed to say that because I know one day we're gonna help I'm gonna help people and I want my kids to be proud I'm so proud of my mom um, and I'm so thankful for how far we've become and my mom is such a huge part of my life and so I'm thankful for her I'm very thankful for what what she's has shown me she's a strong independent woman um, and I want to be that I will, if I could be like half of the woman she is you know that'd be great but I don't know like she honestly is so strong and I'm gonna fight I'm gonna fight for my family I'm gonna fight for my kids I'm gonna fight for all the other families out there that are going through a hard time I know what it feels like and so that's a big topic that and a big some like it's something that I hold very close to my heart and it's something that I talk very passionate about. So sometimes I talk about my faith here. I love to talk about that. But then again, I won't talk about it too much. Just because I feel like you're supposed to act on that. Those things, it's good to speak about them with like other people. Um, and I would answer like questions. If you guys, like in a QA, and a I would sit down and answer those like questions that you have about my faith. I would love to do that. But then again, I feel like my life is supposed to be an example for people so um, um somebody that I look up to some people that I look very highly up to are Ellie and Jared I feel like I watch their videos and I they're just an example like they are an example of course they sp they speak about their faith here and there but it's not like they do videos and if they did I mean I wouldn't have a problem it's just like I don't want to like throw all this out there because I don't even know who I am like I said I'm going through a process of knowing who I am and um I like I don't know, I'm just going through this phase where I don't want to be one of those YouTube channels that's like all about, um, you know, me talking about those things. If you know what those things are, I don't even know what those things are. But, um, you know, just I want to be more of a 
I want to lead by an example, not by just talking. And of course, I will talk sometimes and tell you guys like, oh, you know, this is what happened. This is what I'm going through. This is what I'm doing. Um, just because it is my life. Oh, I should tell you guys, I also have a little doggie. Her name's Lady. Um, and she is our little doggie. We love her so much. Um, so... Um, yeah, she's part of her family. I don't know why I forgot to tell you guys about that. I have big plans, big future goals that I want to accomplish, but I know that definitely I could not, and if I do grow, it would not be, um, just because of me. It would also be because of your guys' support. So I always love to tell my subscribers that I love them so much because I, their support and their views and their love is what keeps us going. I want to give you guys a little background on my YouTube experience. Um, I actually started YouTube a long, long time ago. Um, whenever my son was just a little baby, I started YouTube. The channel was called Our Daily Diary, but I deleted that. Um, a few years ago just because I went through this huge like um, breakdown in my life just um not a midlife cri not a midlife crisis necessarily but it was just like a crisis in general I just needed um, I just needed to take control of something but it was called our daily diary I was doing pretty good on that YouTube channel um, but then I went through my brother's death and I realized that um, there's nothing there's not much that you can control in life and plus I had like like I said like a mental breakdown um, losing my brother like I was okay but I wasn't okay um, so I decided to delete everything off like the face of the earth that if that could even happen because honestly you can't delete things off the internet but um, I remember like if you I'm pretty sure if you go like on Google and you type up our daily diary you probably will see some of our pictures and stuff like that um, I was like doing sponsorships for pull-ups in that channel I deleted it like I said and then I just like I took a little bit time to heal um, a little time to like keep you know get myself together um, I think it was like a few months and then I started this YouTube channel um, called it was called triple A and L which was all of our initials it was my exes and then my two kids and then my initial so um, that's why I called it triple A and L um, but then after that I split with my ex and recently I changed our YouTube channel our YouTube our YouTube channel to Leslie Vaz um, just because if you come on this channel you will see me um, my life and that comes with two beautiful children that comes with the dog that comes with my family that comes with all of the stuff that I explained so I thought that's just what like it was the most appropriate and personal name ever if you guys would like to hear me go more in depth about that it will be linked down below for you guys um, the video that I just recently did for that but that's what I named my channel, um, and I just want to grow. I want to get good, like, loyal subscribers. I do have a few s loyal subscribers who always watch my videos, who always comment, and who always just make me feel so good, and I'm thankful for you guys. You guys know who you are, um, and so I'm thankful for those so people. So, guys, that's it for this video. Please subscribe if you haven't, and if you do subscribe, make sure to click the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so that you will be notified when you upload a new video, and definitely subscribe if you want to be part of our family and, you know, know a little bit more about us, um, you know, get our weekly vlogs, my makeup tutorials. It's just kind of a channel about it's like a lifestyle channel. Um, that's what I would call this channel, like a lifestyle channel, if, that, if that's even a thing. Thanks for watching this kind of welcome video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.